What's up, Happy Fabricators? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about three different ways that you can upgrade your PrimeWeld TIG 225. Okay, so I've been getting lots of questions since the PrimeWeld 325 has come out. People asking if it's worth the money to upgrade or not. Now, the 325 is a nice machine and does serve some heavier duty purposes. But if it's not in the cards of the budget for you at this moment, we're gonna talk about three separate ways that you can upgrade your PrimeWeld TIG 225. And we're gonna start with the lowest dollar upgrade and they'll go up from there. Okay, so upgrade number one is going to be our earth or ground clamp. Now this is a very affordable upgrade. I think I picked this one up off of Amazon or you can get one online for right around $20 at this current time. I'll leave a link down below. But the reason being is the factory clamp for the TIG 225 is this kind of lower end sheet metal clamp. It's got a braided sleeve in here, but eventually this thing is going to kind of give way. You can see this one is bent up a little bit. So not just for longevity purposes, but also you're gonna get some performance gains out of upgrading to a higher quality clamp like this. Number one, by upgrading this earth clamp, you're gonna increase the continuity of your electrical circuit. And in doing so, you will get a couple of gains out of that. One, you'll probably get some smoother arc starts because the easier that electricity flows, the easier it's going to be to get a nice crisp start. Number two, you're probably gonna increase your duty cycle a little bit because by having a better connection, you're gonna keep that amperage flowing smoothly and not introduce heat into that circuit, which in turn is going to make you hit that duty cycle faster. So this is a very good first upgrade and easy enough for anybody to do. You just undo that bolt, stick your ground clamp in here, pinch it down to the next one, and you are up and running again. Okay, so upgrade number two is going to be a stubby consumable kit. Now the TIG 225 comes factory with a CK Worldwide number 17 torch with standard consumables. And these are the standard length consumables and they will definitely get you started and do the job for sure. But what a stubby kit is going to do is just kind of help improve the ergonomics of your welding setup. With this long collet and collet body and gas lens, sometimes it can be kind of awkward to prop in a comfortable position and get a good result. So one thing I definitely prefer is a stubby kit. Now, unlike the ground clamp that we purchased off of Amazon or got from some lower end supplier, which it doesn't really matter for that, your stubby kit you want to get from a name brand reputable supplier. Trust me, I've chased the Chinese, Amazon, eBay ones, and you always end up with problems. So there's a couple different routes you can go. You can get a stubby kit, with standard consumables. So I'll show you here real quick. So basically they're the same components, but they're just roughly about an inch or 25 millimeters shorter. And what this is gonna do is allow you to get that torch position much closer and just provide a much more ergonomical position to be able to weld. And we all know that when we're comfortable, we're going to make better welds. Now your other option with this, now it's kind of almost a separate one, I kind of lumped these into two, is a gas lens stubby kit. Something that looks like this. Now what that gas lens stubby kit is going to do is kind of help even out that blanket of argon and just kind of help give you a better aesthetic. And sometimes that can even help the performance of the weld. Now when it comes to any of these stubby kits, the standard or the gas lens stubby kits, I would get them from one of two places. The first one, if you want to go lowest dollar and get your foot in the door, I would go to Weld Metals Online. You can get a complete kit that's gonna have a collet, a gas lens, and a nozzle or cone, whatever you wanna call that, all ready to go for right around $25. And I've actually got a 10% off promo code that I'll leave down in the description for anything off Weld Metals Online for that as well. Or your other option is Prime Weld offers a stubby gas lens kit themselves, which has three different sizes. So you get one of each size for, I believe it's 16th, 332 and eighth inch. And with that, you get one piece of tungsten in that size, one collet in that size, one gas lens in that size and three separate back caps. And this kit at the time of this video, I believe is right around $65. 
Now, in my opinion, there's a tiny bit of downside to this kit for me personally, because 90% of what I do, I'm gonna be using 332. So for me to buy this kit, I might use the eighth inch. I'm probably never gonna use the 16th inch. And I'd just be buying some things that are gonna sit in the drawer and I'd probably never use. So just keep that in mind. The most common size that you're gonna use when you're starting out is more than likely gonna be 332 unless you're welding some thicker aluminum. But this is also a good option as well. These are quality consumables. I've tried these and I would stand behind these. They're made from a good manufacturer. But there is some appeal to getting the back caps with it, which you do not get with the kit from Weld Metals Online. So it all depends on if you want to start out very budget, hit the more $25 range, or if you've got a little more budget and you can get the multi-piece kit. Okay, so the third and final upgrade for the Prime Weld TIG 225 is going to be a water cooler and a water cooled torch. Now this is the Prime Weld Max Cool 3000. And basically this is a radiator system that allows water to be pumped through your torch leads. So you will have to purchase the water cooler and the number 20 series torch. Now this torch body is actually smaller than the number 17. You can see a significant difference here. So that's going to increase your ergonomic and also by getting the torch and cooler that allows water to flow through the torch, it's going to keep that torch cooler so that you can weld longer. Whereas the CK number 17 torch that it comes from the factory is rated for 175 amps and the CK number 20 water cooled torch is rated for 250 amps. So you're gonna be able to weld hotter for a longer period of time. Now you may be thinking, why is there only a 175 amp torch on a 225 amp machine? You can weld 225 amps through this 75 amp rated torch, but just not for as long a period of time. It's not recommended to do it for the full duty cycle that the machine is rated. For. But what this system here is going to allow you to do is weld for almost continuously. Depending on the material welding, you could pretty much weld continuously with a water-cooled setup. Now, this is a little more on the pricier side for an upgrade. It's gonna run you about $400 for the cooler and another 200 to $250, depending on if you get the 12 foot or 25 foot water cooled leads. So you're in to this setup for another probably 600 to $650. But the cool thing about that is if down the road you decide you wanna to upgrade to that Prime Weld 325, you are going to be able to transfer this water cooled system over to that machine and you're not gonna to have to make that additional purchase when you purchase that machine. So this is kind of an investment. You can transfer that over and actually you can transfer this torch and cooler to most any other machines, even different brands. Some of them have a slightly different lug setup, but if you take cover out here, you can get adapters and pretty much transfer it to any machine out there. So the water cooled system is definitely gonna be an investment you'll be able to transfer and use in the future if you decide to upgrade down the road. So hopefully this information was helpful to you. Prime Weld has been my go-to machine for the last three years. So if you have any questions about these machines, I'm happy to answer those questions down in the comment section. And once again, if you wanna see more fabrication content, Click some of the links that are gonna pop up over here. If you wanna be notified of upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. It's free to do so. And go build something, guys. See you on the next one.